today's video, I'm going to discuss SAS congruence postulate. SAS congruence postulate states that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent respectively to two sides in the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So if we will be given two triangles, we'll just need to prove two sides, for example, this side here and this sides here. We should prove that these two sides are congruent and also the included angle. So the angle between the two sides. So if we can prove that these pairs of angles and sides here are congruent, then we can say that these two triangles are congruent using the SAS congruence postulate. So let's have examples of problems that can be solved using SAS congruence postulate. So example number one, given that O is the midpoint of line segment AC and BD. So this is O here. So this is the midpoint of the two line segments. So we're going to prove that triangle AOB, AOB is congruent to triangle COD. So I am going to use again two column proof. So we're going to have proof here, then statements, then second column will be reasons. So our first statement should be the given. So given here that O is the midpoint of line segment AC and line segment B, D. So reason here will be given. Then, since O is the midpoint of AC and BD, it means that this point divides the two segments into two congruent parts. So let's have first AC. So O is the midpoint here, so we can have line segment AO is congruent to line segment OC. And if we're going to have line segment DB, we can have line segment DO is congruent to line segment BO. So this is the definition of midpoint. Now, these two angles here, angle AOB and angle COD are vertical angles based on the illustration. So angle AOB and angle COD are vertical angles. So this is based on the illustration. Now these two here are vertical angles. This means that these two are congruent. So you can have angle AOB is congruent to angle COD. The reason here will be definition of vertical angles. Or you can have vertical angles are congruent. Now, you have the sides and an included angle. So we have proven these pairs of sides and angles. So we can say that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. This is by SAS congruence postulate. And number two, given line segment BD is perpendicular to line segment AC, BD 
perpendicular to AC at its midpoint D. So the midpoint of AC is D. So we're going to prove here that triangle ADB is triangle here is congruent to triangle CDB. So proof statements then reasons. So statement number one, we're going to use the given line segment BD is perpendicular to line segment AC. Reason here will be given. So since these two sides are perpendicular or line segments are perpendicular, we can say that these two angles here form right angle. So we can have angle B, D, C and angle B, D, A are right angles. So this is definition of perpendicular lines. Then since the two are right angles, we can say that they are congruent. So angle BDC is congruent to angle BDA. So all right angles are congruent. This is our reason here. Second given here is that D is the midpoint of AC. So D is the midpoint of line segment AC. So our reason here will be given. So if this is the midpoint, meaning this point here divides line segment AC into two concurrent parts. So we can say that line segment AD is congruent to line segment DC. So this is definition of midpoint. So we have proven that this line segment AD is congruent to line segment DC and this Two angles here, angle BDA and angle CDB are also congruent. So we need to prove that these pairs of sides here are congruent. So since this line segment is just the same, so we can have line segment BD is congruent to line segment BD using the reflexive property. So side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So we can say here that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CDB. This one, the reason here will be SAS congruence postulate. If you have questions about this topic, please comment down below and see you next time.